Good morning, guys. It is Cyber Monday. Whatever that means. So it is the 29th. This is the day, or the, the Monday after Black Friday. And it's often called a Cyber Monday. So what I'm going to try to do is because my, you know, editing in HD every single day for the daily vlogs and then the other channel, and I've been doing this for five years, uh, my Mac Pro is kind of... It's kind of uh, losing all its memory. As you can see, I'm kind of, I'm going to show you guys, I'm kind of tapped out as far as hard drive space, right? So I have four hard drives in here, right? So I need to get some more. I want to get uh, the, uh, I want to get some uh, terabyte hard drives, like two terabyte hard drives are really cheap now, but I don't know if I should go with uh, Western Digital or Seagate. So if you guys have a recommendation, uh, let me know. I See, the thing is I have... Western Digital, Seagate, and then all these are Seagate in here. And I haven't had a problem, but it seems like all the newer Seagates are kind of having problems so like with the reviews, so now I'm torn. I will put the safety of all our videos in your hands. I mean, no pressure or anything. It's just every single video I've ever made will go on these things. All right, so I just finally finished uh, the song, uh, the After Hours song, finally, after all of that time. Uh, it just took a long time because I had to record every part. So I'm going to give you a little piece or a little taste and you guys can see and listen. Um, but there's no uh, there's no vocals yet. Ali's still got to record the vocals. She's got a week left of school and then she can uh, actually focus on this. So, um, all right, take a listen, all right? Ready? Be gentle. I'm only going to let you hear a little bit of it. some things make the, the sounds a little bit different so what do you guys think is it actually kind of close to the actual song it's at the, the band's called we are scientists and the song is called after hours if you've never heard of the song it's actually one of my favorite songs it honestly it reminds me of Ali and I it's kind of it's kind of our unofficial official song and we're gonna try to have this out um, for our anniversary so that'd be fun so let me know what you guys think in the comments uh, now we got to film a video and do her audio. <laughs> and now I gotta, actually, I, now I have to finish the video that you guys will see. At the end of this video will be a link for our new Baby Mafia video. God, a lot of videos. I'm feeling pumped. Man, like November, December is like very productive. Very productive. I'm feeling good. <laughs> Just my luck. I finally escape out of my pit of editing. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's nighttime and it's raining. So that's awesome. But um, I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about something. Uh, today, it kind of sucks. Today sucks because uh, one of my favorite actors, um, comedic actors uh, I, that I grew up with, like thinking about all that my child, you know those like when you're young, you think about movies that um, really kind of like stay with you your entire life, right? Movies you grew up on, right? Um, Th this actor, his name is Leslie Nielsen. And if you guys don't know who he is, it's this guy right here, right? Um, basically, he, he looked like that for, like, my entire life. I remember him looking like this. But this is the guy from, you know, like, the Naked Gun movies. Basically, he was... I, I grew up on the Naked Gun movies. Like, that is... Or was... Um, those were... Or still are, I should say. I'm kind of back and tracking all over the place. But those movies were seriously, I think what helped shape my sense of humor. Like, the stupid, kind of, only I get it type of humor sometimes. I know you guys get it because you're awesome. But you know what I mean? Like, 
And I always remember watching when I was like when I was little. I used to always watch these movies with my parents when I was really young. The Naked Gun movies, and uh, Airplane, and things like that. If you guys don't know of any of these movies, just Netflix them. Seriously, they're so funny. Uh, but he died today, um, or I guess it was yesterday he died. T technically, uh, th this is like a video diary of my life. I you know these daily vlogs. So when I look back in ten years, I can remember this day and commemorate. Uh, him for being awesome. So thank you, Leslie Nielsen, for help uh, shaping my sense of humor, for help giving me my sense of humor, and uh, your movies will be awesome in my mind forever. And I wanted to ask you guys, are there any actors or movies that you remember when you were younger that really kind of, you, you watch, you can watch a billion times over and over again, and you would not get sick of them? Like, are, do you have any of those? If so, tell me in the comments. And uh, let's share. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Do that. But also, I want to have um, uh, like a quote-a-thon, basically. I want you guys to tell me your favorite Leslie Nielsen quote ever in the comments. Mine is, don't call me Shirley. Yeah, that would actually be really cool. So I'm looking forward to reading some of the awesome quotes and remembering that awesome actor. Or at least in my opinion. He may have sucked in your opinion, but I thought it was hilarious. I can now officially say that I've seen the coolest thing on the planet. I just saw, I'm no joke, I just saw two old ladies fighting in line at the deli. Apparently one lady cut in front of another lady as, I'm not, I, couldn't, I can't make this up, as she was ordering pastrami, uh, the other lady wanted to order ham, uh, the other one cut in front of them and they proceeded to yell back and forth as old ladies do, and uh, it was awesome. I, I finally saw a fight at a grocery store. Check that off my bucket list. As I was uh, leaving Publix, I had to get this. This was, um, I gotta show it to you, I gotta show it. It's so funny, look at this. I think I showed it to you guys a long time ago, but like, cheap red wine. I mean, you can't really, you can't really, <laughs> like if you buy uh, like a wine, right, and it sucks, you know, it sucks and then you get mad. But with with the fact that it's called cheap red wine, I mean, if it's if it's bad, you, you kind of expected it because it's cheap red wine. It's kind of like the same thing with the whole like decent pizza thing. It's like, oh, by the way, yeah, I know. I know this entire video, last couple days, I've been doing this as I'm talking to you guys. It's because it's freaking itchy. I seriously, how many days do I have left? One day? Two. Two more days. Two more days, and then I have a date with this little thing. Yeah. So yeah, two more days. What was I even talking about? So I was looking at hard drives, so I was trying to think of like, you know, how to clear up my hard drive, and I just found, okay, I found a couple clips that Corey, uh, Mr. Safety SMP Films on YouTube, filmed uh, while he was pranking for skits and giggles, Ryan Abe. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this next clip. This is from Prank House. This is almost a month and a half old, but I have to show it to you. Basically, what he did, uh, what he put fake blood all over his neck. He was passed out. He was sleeping hardcore, and just watch his reaction. He has no idea what's going on. I I have to show it to you. Uh, Allie was just like, "What are you laughing at?" And she just almost peed herself too. So uh, this is Mr. Safety pranking for skits and giggles. <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad. It's not a scary prank, I promise. All right. You might wanna explain this whole thing, why we do this. Do you wanna explain the Spock honor? You know that we met. Yeah, like we, we, we do Spock honor instead of pinky promising. Yeah, we were gonna do pinky promise and then we were like, well that's not good enough because everyone does that. So we try to come up with a unique way to like swear to each other that we were telling the complete whole truth and nothing but the truth. Yeah, so instead of Jesus! like- Jesus! <laughs> He's looking at the ceiling? <laughs> Are you leaving? Yeah. Where's that from? Show me your mouth. No, you're kind of funny.
Dude, you all right? Yeah, I don't know what happened. You look like you've been eating something, man. Someone must have been bleeding. Go in the mirror. Go look in the bathroom, dude. You have blood all over your face. Yeah, dude, go in the bathroom. Yep, that was probably one of the best pranks of the entire time. He had no idea what was going on. He was passed out hardcore. Okay, so Allie and I were just looking at the other files. I just found another one. Um, I don't think this was posted anywhere else, but uh, what is it? what's going on with you? <laughs> Double. Why they started pulling on? Corey unhinged an entire door, and then put Vaseline on the doorknob. So people were like, "Oh, it's you know, it's Vaseline on the doorknob. That's a mild inconvenience." Watch what just happened. This was actually a pretty good prank, and it was filmed. I swear it was not sponsored by Dr Pepper, though. Let's do this. Let's do this again. I don't think so. Man, watching all these things makes me kind of miss Miss Prank House a little bit. Hopefully it comes back. I don't, honestly, I have no idea what's going on with it, so. You punch yourself in the head? How'd you do that? Oh. Zoe, you have your kitty cat? How'd you punch yourself in the head? She was pulling on it, and I was like trying to pull her back, and she yanked as I brought my hands down, and I went She has a kitty back. for you. She's like, she I have a kitty for you. And she put it on my face. <laughs> I had both hands down like this. Oh. I punched myself right in the face. You're such a she turd. She pulled really hard. Look at this. It's kind of morbid that she plays with a cat. That kind of looks like Gizmo and Mo. <laughs> Allie's being weird. Oh. <laughs> She's. <laughs> Is that the Adam? No! Eve. Oh, it's Eve. Give Zoe some Eve. <laughs> <laughs> it's so superpower you can use your plasmids. <laughs> oh man, another comedic genius. <laughs> what are you doing? Daily boofing. <laughs> M&Ms in my nose and for the obviously they're not marvels, but I did a quote from home movies which no one is getting and it's best really cartoon sad. ever. Don't put marbles in your nose, put them in there, do not put them in there. Anyway. This is what Allie's doing instead of studying. That's right. So, if you're one of Allie's professors, this is what she's doing right now. Sorry. Your paper topic is not keeping me interested in academics. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, don't mind that, that is just Marley squeaking her toy. So I just wanted to let you guys know that our new skit is up on YouTube.com slash Charles Trippy. It's called The Baby Mafia. So go check it out. Uh, it was a really fun video to shoot. Uh, just click right here and uh, it'll take you to it. Otherwise, just go to youtube.com slash Charles Trippy. I basically need ideas on how to get revenge on the, the baby godfather. Godfather. So go check it out, you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Charles Trippy and Allie, cause you and me, we're CTFXC, gonna share the interwebs with Charles Trippy and Allie, don't forget Zoe and Marley.